is periodic depression. And also, I have SAD, which makes me miserable in the winter. Se se seasonal affective disorder. And, um, I was, I was taking forever. I took 20. And then, um, I started getting bummed out in the winter, so, um, the doctor upped it to I don't know. Anyway, eventually I got up to 60. And I thought, and my teeth, I'm just grinding my teeth down there, just almost numbs. So, um, one of the side effects of Celexa is bruxism, which is grinding your teeth. And I thought, I gotta stop doing this because this is my teeth and I'm having no teeth left. And though they're not that wonderful to look at anyway, at least they're my teeth. Anyway, that's more of the story. So, I have been decreasing it with my doctor, of course, assistance. And I went down, I guess I've gone down too low because I have been having these negative thoughts. I don't usually get negative thoughts. Negative, if you don't have enough serotonin in your brain, you get lots of negative thoughts. And they're twisted thoughts. They're not nice thoughts. They're twisted, not, thoughts people wouldn't like to be around. You know, like, that person doesn't like me, and you know, it's just, it's just crap. It's just all this me-centered, negative at other people thoughts. You know, who needs that? That's bad. So, um, today I go back to my doctor. I have to up it back up a little bit, because it was, it's gotten too low. Or maybe it's just been too fast, decreasing it too fast. All that little explanation is to explain to you that I haven't been as happy lately as I should be. Of course, there's always prayer. Heavenly Father's always there for me. And if I talk to him, you know, that's what I should be doing anyway, is talking to him. And anyway, and it came to pass, it never came to stay. It's amazing though when your thoughts are negative how many bad things there are out there. There's such a lot of bad to focus on and it just feeds that negative. Such a lot. And of course with the body too. Now that the body is aging, 53, going to be 54 in a month. Oh no, in a 13 days, September 14th. Anyway, um, so everything's sort of your body aches and pains and all that shows up more. I'm not, I'm not ready to, like, I've tried to let my body be in more control than it used to be. I used to ride my bicycle, and I'd ride it until I had no energy left. I mean, I'd ride it until I could not push the pedals. Or I would, you know, I would just push my body. I would push it right to the edge, thinking, you know, like survival. I've got to finish. I've got to survive and, and get back and whatever. You know, I'd go for walks and blizzards. Not lately. I think I'll let these people go in here first. Well, I guess I can't because it's my turn. I have to go first. Now they're all going to be behind me. It's amazing how fast people try and drive in these back roads. Really. I try and, you know, follow the flow of traffic, which is nothing like the speed limit. Have a rough estimate. The rest of the world has a speed limit. Not here. Rough estimate. And if you, you're shaking a lot. Are you okay? You don't have Parkinson's, do you? You're gonna have to go see about that. All right. I'll see if I can help you out there. Well, I'm out running them so far. We have to slow way down up here. This is gonna be a town. One is tailgating the other one. He wants to get him out of the way so he can zoom right past. I wonder if they have any thoughts of slowing down for this village. Canada, they've put this new, or in Ontario, they've got this new law now. That, um, because people like to just stay going highway speed right through villages. So they've got a new rule that if you go 50 kilometers an hour through, uh, you know, anywhere over the speed limit, you get a tenth, you can get 
a $10,000 road suspension, roadside suspension, $10,000 fine, roadside suspension, and car seizure. So they'll take your car, they'll charge you $10,000. How's that? And they'll suspend your license. And since the current um, highway speed is about 100 kilometers an hour, 80 posted, but 100 is what everybody does. If you don't, you could get a ticket for obstructing traffic. Can you imagine that, Meta? When you're doing the same thing on the computer. Um. Anyway, just noticed this box is a camp firewood. We could sell firewood for camping. That would be a good idea, wouldn't it? A lot of people drive by. Tons of people. I could sell lots of wood. A lot more work than soap, though. One bar for the same price as a whole bunch of, of wood. It would be hard to manage. You know, you have to lift it and move it around and bundle it up. Oh, that's a beautiful hawk there. Okay, we're out to the edge of this village. We're going to go back to our routine 100 clicks per hour. That's 60. 62. I can outrun them. I think I can outrun them. Ah, 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 they'll pass me anyway. That's right. Once they get a taste for how slow I go through towns, I go the speed limit in towns, which is 50 clicks. Then, as soon as they think, oh, she's a slowpoke, look at what she's doing in the town, then they come zooming out here to pass me. They do. They pass me at like 120. Where do they get off on that? Here he comes. There we go, I'm going 100 and he's going faster. Look how his license plate is all obscured. 